and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Scout mid-range. This deck's pretty good. We're going to be putting together Misfortune and Quinn and going to be attacking a lot. You know, trying to get like those extra extra attack steps with our Scout ability. And you know, we have Grizzled Ranger, Island Navigator, and the very underrated Ra Razor Scale Hunter as our other Scouts. Um, so you may you may recognize this deck um, from last Monday on Meme Tier Monday. We put together the infinite combo with Dawn Speakers, Monkey Idol, and Chain Vest. And basically, I'm taking that that deck and just kind of uh, uh, making it a little bit more legitimate. Um, but the Dawn Speakers was still awesome for us last time, if you remember that. Like it, it honestly was really good, it was surprisingly good. Um, whenever we played this deck last time, so we're keeping the Dawn Speakers. As our other three drop, we're going to have one Monkey Idol also. It's a good enabler for the Dawn Speakers if we do end up having it, but it's not something I want to really focus on. Uh, but then just kind of adding some more top end and removal from that deck. Like we we did want more removal, and I think Concerted Strikes, a, you know, just a good card at five mana. So we're going to be playing those, um, playing an extra Unyielding Spirit and an extra Razor Scale Hunter. All right. Um, but yeah, let's go play five games over in ranked like we always do. We use our brand new arcade board, the arcade music going, and uh, let's have some fun. So going Dawn Speakers, call this like Scout Dawn Speakers, Dawn Speaker Scout. I really like the Teemo um, Sejuani deck. I call it Puff Cat Plunder. We played that the other day. Really like that deck. It's a fun one to play. All right, we'll just kind of keep this. We got our one, two, three, and then a removal spell. This is the kind of hand that I actually want my opponent to have. Um, Actually, I want my opponent to have um, Teemo on turn one. So they go uh, turn one Teemo. Ah, Omen Hawk. All right, good enough. And then, you know, we'll use the War Chefs and pump it up and kill it. I could go the Protector, but the War Chefs does the same thing, and we can save Protector. Feel the sizzle. Words move hearts and armies. We're going to be attacking for a lot. <laughs> Easy. That's a good curve. One, two, three, then double spelling already on turn four. That's a turn four win. That's a turn four win. <clears throat> um... So yeah, you know, yesterday we started around the rank like 200 something and uh, didn't do well yesterday. Went down to like a thousand and now back up there. Now we're winning again today, back up to 600 something. So that's good. Um, Concerted Strike does seem good against Ash Se Sejuani. I don't know, we got other removal. I'm gonna... Let me get rid of it. Look for a lower curve. Try to get ahead. Uh, 
attack. Turn one Omen Hawk just kind of everywhere these days. A chill in the air. Yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, yeah, I think we still trade 2 2 for 3 1 if they would like to trade. Good. Leaf, Leaf Feather Tracker is good. Um, let's see. You're covered. So just keep them from attacking. That could be good. Hmm. That changes things. That means now I need to play Jag Jagged Butcher first. Yeah. I think not. Be strong. These are dark times. Build your own Vanguard Bannerman. That's what we got. I don't want to play. I don't want to play the monkey. We could challenge the monkey for free, but yeah, they're going to be challenging here. And now we have to... Oh, they just passed. Okay. Well then. Oh, dang. Dang. I walked into that. Wow. Wow. Um. Let's go to the next game. <laughs> I don't think our powder monkey is going to help too much. Let's go to the next one. Reckoning. Hmm. Alright, good hand to Mulligan. Do we not have one in... Where's our, all of our one and two drops? No one drop or two drop in the nine cards we saw. Ten cards we saw. That's really unfortunate. I mean, I I tried looking for him. No prey, no pay. Got rewarded. And they got the best possible remembrance as well. Talk about a game that just did not go our way. Yeah, yeah, I'm up. <laughs> we got basically the worst worst possible hand we could get. No one or two mana cards in the top 12. Let's 
piss some folks up. Justice will be served! Make a lot of sense to do to play anything else. We can do this. Yeah, great hand for them. Just the ideal start for them, remembrance into um Yeah, Will of Ionia, then Radiant Guardian, Lux, like just completely ideal. Alright, so that's five. So that means I have six other mana to work with. Show them what we're made of. Yeah, we're in we're in Master's Rank. I don't think we can win this game either. Yeah, I, I don't know why they wouldn't wouldn't attack with Lux, but they didn't. I was happy with that. Could be an easy one to win, but we, but we still can. My shield is yours. Hmm. 
I think my plan is to have plans to try to protect this this Cythria, grant this thing vulnerable, have the Cythria challenge this thing where it doesn't gain a life. Or, you know, even just put it front. Um, that'll leave me with three extra mana. Um, and then I go Dawn Speakers after combat, after something, after they kill something with Lux. Or after that thing dies. I could just go like the double Dawn Speakers. Their hand was incredible. My hand it was horrible, and we just got destroyed. <laughs> they had like the best, like yeah, like they had the best things you could have every single turn, and I had the, you know, just no one or two mana cards in my top twelve cards. You've mulliganed everything, so we got destroyed. I, mean, I can't. I can't complain. I can't sit here and complain about unyielding spirit when we have unyielding spirit in our deck. Sometimes we'll win with that card. I can't. I can't complain about it. I was gonna say that I like this matchup for us, but I guess the opponent joined with the wrong deck. Done that before. Want to play like one deck and accidentally join with another one or something like that. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna count that as a victory. So Draven Ezreal could go two ways. They could be like the control deck Draven Ezreal, or they could be the aggro deck. Could really go either way. Um, if they're the control deck, it may have been good to just keep one, keep one unyielding spirit to have access to. And I just want my one and two mana cards though. So Mulligan to Maul. Hmm. I think that's the ideal turn to have gotcha, isn't it? The ideal turn to draw it is draw it with your first draw step. The party has arrived. Let's book it. No pray, no pay. 
So this is the second game in a row that my opponent <laughs> has had the perfect cards every single turn. Literally perfect cards every single turn. Really, really want to play Razor Skill Hunter, Bright Steel uh, Protector. That's the t that's the turn that I want to make. Have rummage, get rid of all those free cards they got. Got axes, need victims. I'm I'm ready. I'll stop you. This may not work, and I don't I don't love this because then we don't get to play either of our big cards. Come out and play. Probably should just let them have it. Fortune favor. 
enters the bold. The ocean is no place for the weak. I'll be damned. There's blood in the water. Maybe we finally take out this Draven. As long as I don't, I don't love this trade. Gotta make it. I'll burn for what I've done. Think I'm still like a yodel in uniform. Soldier to me. This deck has never looked this good. My opponent's deck has never looked this good. It's never looked this good. I mean, I, I'm just at a loss for words. I don't have anything to say. Fortune favors the bold. They don't know what they're up against. Yeah. And that's a course game. They just cast all these things. They're all burst speed. And I lose. Now we plan our revenge. If you could, if you could just, if my opponent could choose exactly what they could draw and could have every single turn of the game, they had, they had that, you know, they had the thermogenic beam on one, they drew the gotcha on turn two to, for, ha for having it cost two mana. Um, they drew gotcha again on turn three for my misfortune, or was it turn four? It was, it was one of those two, like that they, they drew for a perfect, I guess it was turn four because they played Draven on three with their attack step. Yeah, they had Draven on three, and then turn four, they got to draw the, the gotcha to kill my misfortune with the two mana, which was perfect because then the next turn, then they had uh, the extra mana, so they got to Culling Strike, my Quinn. Just like last game, I lead, lead with Tracker so that we can try to turn on Butcher. Last game they had the, the turn one Thermogenic Beam though, which made me wish I would have gone with the Butcher.
Our hand's pretty misfortunate. Fortune favors the bold. So this thing's attacking. with that too. I'm a little worried about this thing dying right here, but oh, we get get that spider out of here. Death is like the wind, always by my side. So they attack with the Asuo. I'm going to block with the 4-2. And then play Quinn and be able to pump Quinn and Valor up. With this dying. I got to show you the sights of Bilgewater. The sights are fine. The smells, on the other hand. doesn't get you the rope right. Oh. That was weird. Poor Valor. Alright, so he also just has Vulnerable now. So we can challenge it with anything. Which is going to be pretty nice. He's got to get in me. You have got to be kidding me. It's like a card that a lot of people don't play with some some you know it's probably about like 50 50 whether somebody has that in their deck or not and like if they do have it, it's like a one of but just got annihilated by it it's like last you know two games ago it was reckoning just looking the absolute best it can this time intimidating roar same thing
Cause of Palm on my Rizzled Ranger. That's too bad. At last, I have found you, Yone. Turn back while you can. All right, Misfortune or Dawn Speakers? So we finally kill. Our allies did not fall finally in kill uh, Yasuo. Good footwork, fast strides. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Soldier to me. Playing this immediately, so now I could could have single combat fight Yasuo. If I told you, would you listen? If they have another thing like a Yone. Wow. Underestimate. I dare you. I guess this was unnecessary with the barrier, wasn't it? Could have given the barrier to like Quinn. Cause just the misfortune trigger kills this anyway. I guess I guess I get to challenge like one of these other three power things. The blade twirler. I guess I could have still challenged this thing for, for free though. Yeah, I should have just gave it to the Quinn. Yeah, I should have gave it to the Quinn. That's a card. Pick on someone your own speed. Don't get ahead of yourself. This is like my only way to survive with both Misfortune and Quinn. Quinn's the better card to Unyielding Spirit. Patience makes perfect. But this would let me, you know, I could Unyielding Spirit the Misfortune. That's far enough. Yuri's 
easy to track. So you, yeah, going with X. Quinn's the better card to miss to uh, Unyielding Spirit. So we're going to be getting some Valors. That's a, another really good draw. I needed that. Could turn this around. Ugh. The woods protect us. All right. Well, now I don't think we can turn it around. We needed we needed another attack with the Quinn. We so we have to just top deck a removal spell. Like maybe, honestly, instead of eating that 6-1, and maybe I should eat the 3-2, because if we draw... Oh, we don't even have Make It Rain in the deck. Never mind. We have Misfortune Make It Rain, not regular Make It Rain. Yeah, if we if they just didn't have that stun. Especially how it was a stun that also made that 3-2. came back to actually winning that. We almost, almost won that. Came real close. Came back and almost won that. All right, but there we go. So that's Scout mid-range. Um, I like the deck. We ran into some really, really hot opponents. Our last three opponents, all, I mean, all four, honestly. Like they had, especially the last three, they had everything. Like that's that's as good as a Yasuo deck does. Yasuo deck does. You know, they had their turn four Yasuo, and then they had all the stuff to back it up, and and had protection spells. So that's as good as that card looks. And of course they had the um, intimidating roar with it. That, without that intimidating roar, we win fairly easily. Um, and then, yeah, of course the, the two, the two previous opponents, man, we had, we had ran into some high roll on opponents, but that, that's how, that's how it goes. Um, I think this is a, another good level up deck. You know, if, if you like playing Misfortune and Quinn, this is my favorite list for Misfortune Quinn. Um, myself. And so I recommend trying it out. All right, but there we go. Scout midrange, some awesome games. Um, even, you know, they weren't going our way, but awesome from our opponent's side. But uh, with all of the, you know, we got to see a lot of power in these videos. Like our opponent's decks looked incredible each time. <clears throat> All right, uh, but that's it here for Scout Midrange. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.